Ready? You're gonna help me. You're gonna help me. Hmm? Okay, let's go. What's up, guys? I am Sammy Slater, and this is Gizmo. You wanna say hello? Hello. She's cute, isn't she? She's very loving. She's very noisy today, so you might hear a little bit of an outburst from her. Because you're annoying. <laughs> today is day two of crime, and today I'm going to be looking at the Moors murders. Brady's got this lad whacking him and whacking him and hitting him and hitting him with an axe. So it, this happened in the 1960s and, it, and the two killers were called Ian Brady and Myra Hindley. They sexually abused and also murdered young children, five children, um, and teens, and then they buried their bodies on Saddleworth Moor. I'll start with Brady. Um, January the 2nd in 1938, um, he was born, but he wasn't actually born Ian Brady, he was actually born Ian Duncan Stewart. Oh, isn't it? Um, this was in Glasgow anyway, but his mum couldn't afford him, so he went into care. And by the way, he was absolutely really smart when it came to like education and stuff. Really, really smart. So there was there's a place in um, Glasgow called Shorelands Academy. Um, and this went for the, like young, intelligent people, you'd have to go on a scholarship, if you got accepted you'd go there, if not you'd go to a normal school. So yeah, he was absolutely brainy, 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 but all he wanted to learn about was World War II. Uh, I don't know why, but then again, I'm like, I like the war. Hold on. Yes. She does my head in. Anyway, it's because I'm lying down. I'm not kind of lying down. Oi! She's making too much noise today. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, all he wanted to learn about was World War II Nazi Germany. But it wasn't, like, just about the whole war. It was about um, uh, hurting people. I can't remember what call it, torturing people. So he just kind of liked that, I suppose. Um, at 15, he got in trouble with his um, care family and at 15 he went to Manchester to live with his actual mum, Peggy, and his stepdad which was called Patrick Brady and then obviously they changed his name. Um, Brady hated the jobs he was doing so he actually got books from the library and taught himself how to be a bookkeeper. So you can imagine how actually brainy he is because I can't do maths. Is it maths? Must be. Hmm. So yeah, anyway, that's him. So now we're gonna talk about Myra Hindley. Right, so Myra was born July the 23rd in 1942 in Manchester in England. 
Um, his, her, his, her parents were abusive. Her dad was an ex-military man and um, hated her. Well, didn't hate her, but he was an alcoholic because he had PTSD. Yeah, PTSD, so he became an alcoholic and didn't just take it out on air. But, um, I think he was about 12. He taught her how to fight and to impress him, she would go to school and all the boy bullies she would be up, just trying to impress her dad really. Um, she calmed down a lot after that. Um, when she was older, people said she was more shy and reserved. Um, and her friends actually said, you know, she was reliable, she was nice, she was good, she was trustworthy, really. And then she met Brady at work. She was a secretary and he was a bookkeeper, I guess, yeah. And it took her years and years and years to actually get a date with him. Um, she managed to get a date with him and on the first day they became soulmates and they spent every minute of every day together. Rah, 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 rah. But Brady was a boss all the time, he was controlling. Um, he made a read like he wanted to be like her boss and her teacher to get in, her into what he liked. So he would get her to read like Mein Kampf. Not really. Uh, X-rated movies, they would look at pictures, they'd look at books, they'd look at illegal stuff, they'd look at everything. It was him trying to control her into being like him, I guess. Myra Hindley actually used to go to church and she went to church every single Sunday. But he decided, God is real, don't go. So she never went. First one was Pauline Reed and uh, this happened on the 12th of July in 1963. How to get um, her there was Myra's sister was friends with this Pauline Reed. And Myra saw her on her own and said, look, I've lost a glove. Have you seen a glove? Will you help me find a glove? They beat her, they raped her, they murdered her, they slashed her um, throat, and then the next day they buried her in Saddleworth Moors. Second mum was John Kilbride, and this was on November the 23rd, 1963. Um, he was at um, Ashton Market or something, and um, they offered him a ride home because he didn't have his bus fare or something. I don't know. But anyway, they raped him, they strangled him, and then buried him on Saddleworth as well. The third um, kid was called Keith Bennett. This is really bad because he's not been found. His mum just, you saw at the start, a bit, like a little video and his mum's actually in it. She wanted to, that's all she wanted, I want to know where my son is. I want to know. And he messed them around a lot because he, all right then, I will take you to saddle for Mars and I will show you where your son is. Went up there, oh, I don't know, I can't remember. It's happened like three or four times. Sad that one because all his mum ever wanted was to know where his body was so she could sort of bury him fully, but he just took the mick and, yeah, I'll show you where it is. No, I won't show you where it is. But then again, my, my um, granny and everyone, obviously because of the moors and everything, um, apparently moorland moves. So if they buried a body in one place, this body could be anywhere. Because the actual, I don't know how that works, but apparently on the moors, the ground would move. I don't think if he was being serious, I don't think he'd be able to find him because it could be anywhere. But to get him there, um, he was at his grand's house and they asked him to help them load and unload some boxes and they would give him some money. And obviously, we don't actually know what they did to him because we never found him. His mum has died now, so she will never get the answers. Okay, so on um, December the 26th, 1964, Leslie Ann Downey um, was murdered. She was at a fairground on Boxing Day. Um, they asked, that's kind of weird. 
I just realised that. Boxing day. Will you load these boxes into this van? When we get to our end, unload them. We'll pay you back. We'll pay you, and then we will bring you back. So she um, said yes. Obviously, I don't know. They undressed her, gagged, and posed for pictures. They raped, strangled, and they also buried her on Sodor Wharf. Wood Evans, October the sixth, in 1955. Lured him from this Manchester Central with um, the offer of, oh, come back to Mars, yeah, we'll have some wine, we'll relax, we'll, you know, we'll just chill, whatever. Didn't happen. Um, Dave Smith. Now, he was Myra's brother-in-law, Dave Smith, and he was the one, um, he witnessed it. He witnessed his death, um, but he helped them in a way. Um, at the end, he went to a payphone and rang the police straight away. They came out. But this, um, what happened was, um, he saw Brady kill this man with an axe, yeah? He helped clean, like, the room, helped clean the room, helped, like, wrap the body up, and they put it upstairs in a bedroom to be moved the next day. But he, as soon as he got out of there, he threw up everywhere. He went to a payphone, rang the police, they came round and they actually found the body before they could get rid of it and that's how they found out this is happening. He told the police that there was a suitcase in Manchester Central. They raided all the lock lo uh, lockers and they found this locker. 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 <laughs> Um, and the suitcase was inside and it had all the tapes, it had audio tapes, it had video tapes, it had pictures, it had weapons, it had blood, it had clothing, you know, horrible, horrible, horrible stuff. During this, they found in the um, suitcase the Leslie and Downey and the John Kilbride um, tapes. So they went up to Saddle with Moors anyway, and they actually did find the body of Leslie Ann Downey and John Kilbride. Um, on May the 6th, in 1966, they went to court. They were both guilty of charges. Um, Brady had three terms of life in prison. He actually died um, on the 15th of May, 2017. And do you know what this prick wanted? Do you actually know what he wanted? He wanted to be buried on Saddle Wolf Moors. Um, but he ended up being thrown in the sea. So Myra Hindley, uh, she got two life sentences and concurrent seven years. Um, she died in 2002 and 20 undertakers refused to bury her or burn her. They refused, I'm not having a real no. I'm not having a real no. Really? No. So yeah, 20 undertakers were refused. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I am Sammy Slater, as you all know. My album's out. Album, album, album. Everyone go and buy it. Buy it, buy it, buy it. I'll put the shops on again. Um, but, yeah, I've got another video to do tomorrow on another crime, but I don't know what the crime is going to be. Figure that out tomorrow, innit? Because I'll be editing this all afternoon now. Um, so yeah, um, buy my album, as always. Thank you for watching. As always, like and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks ever so much for watching this video, guys. As, as always, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.